All right, now I know what I said. I know I'd, I'd, I'd come back right when I find, uh, you know, the Zelda thing, but uh, found something else that might be worth observing. Just a little. So, we're doing it live. We're doing it live, and I'm doing it poorly. No, fuck you, dude. Okay. Get. Oh, hello there. Also, uh, in the meantime, I made this, which does the same amount of damage as the other, uh, weapon. The other big weapon. This. So, you know, saving the, the Flux Core 2 pounder was, was totally, like, a waste of time. But it's okay. I'm not mad. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Uh. Oh, my bow broke, right? Oh, too Lin. Yeah, that's such a good picture. Baby! Fuck! Also, holy shit! A royal claymore. You're fucking joking, dude. Well, I'll tell you what I'm putting on this. I'll tell you what I'm putting on this. The extender. 38 damage, incredibly long range. The most beautiful weapon ever conceived by man, actually. Holy smokes. That was tense. These are fun. I, I feel like I've killed too many monsters, so now I'm at the point where, like... Uh, like, the game expects me to have a lot more health. But I don't, just because I keep killing the monsters and winning. Oh, the Zelda, it's not over here? I, I thought for sure it'd be all the way over here near the monsters. So how, how did you take that much damage and live, boss? That's good. See ya. Alright. I ran back to where I was before in hopes that I would find uh, my, my, my wagon safe and sound, but I did not. However... Might have just found something better for getting around this land faster. Ah! I might have biffed it. The only reason I'm like a little like hesitant to make the, the hover scooter is because I know it takes a lot of like precision to like angle it right so you don't fucking die.
and also I just like you know I don't I don't I would get a lot more mileage with the with the with the wheel format and honestly I probably should have just used my wheels I'm I'm very like I don't want to use my wheels because I only have four of them but this would be a good time to use the four of them you know this would also be a good time to use one of the super zonite cells but I want to I want to like use them on the gacha that's like a that's that's a real reason to not want to use them because the gotcha is there and they're very powerful in the gotcha and i want to put a bunch of them in the gotcha there that makes up for it now let's scavenge yeah, I, I gotta go into the fucking... The depths again, man. There's so much cool stuff in there. Is it in the eye of this bird? I don't really know where else it would be. I, I was over by the wing before and I couldn't find it. And at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm too high up. Okay, you're cute and all, but where's the... Where's the jujube? I am in desperate need. The drinkoid. Another fan. Oh, and they all have wild temperament. I don't have a lot. I don't have that much stamina. Let's just make a car. Oh, I didn't. I thought it would correct itself. No. I guess I could take this. Better suited. Doesn't handle hills or bumps very well. Okay, never mind. Ah. You know, I wish there was like a an ability or like a menu where you could save these creations like I don't I don't know how that would be balanced because like oh well if you can save the creations you know there have to be you know what's stopping what you know what's stopping you from ever using your little your little whirly gigs your little your little gachapon toys right also just having the ability to just simply spawn a like war machine would, would kind of suck, balance-wise. Oh. So, I don't know how it would be balanced, because it would have to be balanced, because the ability to just whip out a vehicle out of nowhere like it's nothing would be very strong, very powerful. But... I would like the ability to save a vehicle. Spe like, that's part of why I don't really tinker with these. Beyond my battery sucking. Because it's like, alright, I can invest a lot of time creating this cool device. But then, like, when I inevitably have to abandon it, it's gone, you know? 
and I'll have to build a new one. I'll have to get all the stuff together to build it. It's like, man. Honestly, getting the stuff together isn't as, like, tiresome as just, like, getting everything lined up right. You know? Also, is there no tier? Hello? Is my vision just, like, failing me in my accelerated age of 23? Perfect. Oh, he backed into it. Tulin shot him, and I thought that would be what gets him to step into the blender, but no, his ass just jumped into the blender. But I do like driving these little vehicles around, and like, it is cooler than the motorbike. Because you have to make the vehicle by hand. So it's like, oh, I made my little whirly gig. That's awesome. Yeah, but where is this memory, though? Do I have to go to Eventide Island to get it? Is it like... I mean, I was already over here at the pit. I didn't see it, and I still don't see it. Ah! Oh, and the timer ran out. Oh, no, I just never said it. Well, I'm just going to go off of the recording timer then. Just about 12 minutes. This kind of stinks, though. Driving around looking for the single spot on this giant, like, tapestry. Looking for... Oh, yeah, the single spot on the giant tapestry. Looking for, like, a little beacon. Oh, hard brakes. The wheels don't even roll. Uh... Get some more bananas. I already took a picture of them. Oh, I already got those bananas. No, dude. I wonder where the Yiga are in this game. They gotta be somewhere, right? Like, they worship Ganon. And, like, the, the, the dwarf, the whole Ganon is here now. Can I, like, pick this up? No. I'm thinking maybe it'd be like under a rock and I'd have to pick up a rock. And nah, that's just part of the environment. Wah! Wah! <laughs> I thought I could beat the tree. And you know, I'm sure plenty of people that get in car accidents think they can beat the tree, too. Yeah, and it's not over here. Is it by the feet, then? And I just didn't see it? Maybe if I have, like, the, the radar, this would go a lot easier. Instead of just bumbling around. Hello, pool of soup. Oh! Or, or it's just, like, you know, totally obscured and invisible in, like, a big slop pile, and it only reveals itself when you drive over it. Or maybe that, you know? But hey, at least I found it. Now, I hope you got your popcorn ready. Because the movie's about to start.
All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> Oh? oh my, I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? Wasn't even a Jaeger. Smile. <laughs> Got down. Okay. So that's how the Demon King was made. Good to know. Should I go to Eventide? I don't know. You know what I think I should do? I think... I should go... Hitano. No, not to Hitano. Cat Creek up. Because there's a pit. And I want to go pit exploring. Like, I know uh, that fucking Terre Town. Oh, God. Terre Town is like up. Bro is up. I didn't even. I need to get there someday. I'm also processing Ganondorf, like, being the spy. Of Team Fortress fame. Goodness gracious, man. That's like, that's a lot. That was, that was cool. And they had the funny face. The funny face that ever, the funny face. Right? I, I talked about briefly before that, like, there, there are some things about this game that are just inescapable if you're on the internet. You know, a lot of them was just like, hey, look, I made a penis. I made a big, like, stick man, and he, and, he, and, he, and he comes fire. Like, quite literally, just comes fire all over the goddamn map, right? Here's my contraption. Here's me fucking up a shrine, right? A lot of that. It's not even like, oh, I don't know how to solve this puzzle. No, it's like, hey, here's me being, like, a blundering idiot and having the, the metal cube spawn on top of my head like a goddamn Tom and Jerry cartoon, right? I, and then also, hey, check it out. It's Ganondorf's funny face. He's smiling because reason. And I never knew the reason, and now I do. And that's, like, scary, bro. That's how he gets all demon mode. That's kind of, like, crazy, you know? Kinda... That was supposed to be, like, like, quack. Like, a mixture of quack and crazy. But it kind of just sounded like I was doing ubu speak, and I regret it. Like, immediately. Okay, what I, what I think I should do next is I think I should go into the pit. There's a, there's a pit over here that I have discovered, and I never went into it. 
I've got a lot of cool gear, and I'd like to go into the dark. But also, I'm so motivated to do this, because, like, I don't... I, I did some exploring off-camera, right? And I don't want to, like, go into a new scenario for the first time, you know, outside of the fucking quest where it's like, go into the darkness and find bro, right? I don't want to be jumping into exploring the cavernous pits for the first time on my own off camera. I want to, like, get into it, kind of capture my initial impressions of it. And then afterwards, that kind of frees me up. Just kind of walk around, you know, much in the same way. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to get a tower. I don't want to, you know, walk into a new area without recording it. Right? So, you know, it's a whole new area. It's a whole new environment to take in and explore, right? And just kind of coming in like, hey, I made it through the Zora Kingdom, you know, totally unannounced. That, that, that kind of sucks. And similarly, I feel like jumping into the darkness and exploring it on my own for the first time and then coming back and being like, hey, what's up? That also kind of sucks. So I want to... Oh my god, I'm on, like, on, the, I'm on like the complete opposite side. Just make a beacon, man. I want to capture it. Because I want to explore, but that also frees me up to explore off-camera. Without being, like, evil. And I feel like... Considering that it takes, like, a hundred zonite... To upgrade your thing, like, a piece. I feel like I... I that's a... Exploring the depths is a thing I want to do off camera. Because there'd be at least 10 parts of me just in the darkness fucking breaking shit and taking names. But, you know, kind of as an addendum. Oh, I don't have a bow. I need a bow. I need a bow first. I need a bow. And I need... One of these. Just so I know uh, where the ground is. It broke? Okay. <sighs> See? nice to know where the ground is. Oh shit, Sora. It's like a Majora's Mask Zora, too. And they had Zonite. Huh. You know, in Lookout Point, there was that fucked up statue that was like, Pose. And they're the spirits of the dead, and this is a, like a Majora's Mask ass Zona. Zona? Oh my god, I'm, I'm embarrassing. Zora. Yo! What is that? Giant breakthrough seed. Okay, it's just like a glowy frog. And there's no... Lights? Oh, goodness. Yeah, there's no lights because I'm like the furthest I've ever been from a light source. But there is this pin. Oh... It's not for this biome, though. Okay. Got six minutes to... Oh! There we go. There's a light root. Oh, and there's some zonite, baby. Ooh. Hell yeah. Let's go get the pose around this statue. Before we move on. Yeah, I should probably take a picture of those monsters, huh?
And I didn't even go to the right statue, man. How embarrassing. I'm just it's like I'm on an alien planet. It's really cool. Okay, so if they, these are like statues of like ancient Zora in this world's terms, or at least that's my assumption. That's a what is that? It's just a rock, whatever it is. What is that? What the fuck? Yo? Are you a dead soldier? Oh, and it's clean! It's a clean sword and it does more damage than it does by default. I don't have a thing to swap it out with, but that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna need... Well, I have the shield for breaking rocks. I would like to take your claymore and relieve you of your duties, Mr. Dead Soldier. I mean, look at his plume. That's like a dead Hylian. Oh. But, uh, my inventory's full. I'll be back for you. What's that? What is that? It's like a Zonai structure. Wait, no, that's Yiga! It's got the upside-down eye. You can faintly see it. Do they live down here? Oh, they would. No, they totally would live down here. Because fucking... Um, what's his name? The leader of the Yiga. When you kill him, he falls into the pit. I didn't think Bro would fall down here, though. <laughs> this is most concerning. I've got two minutes. Uh, well, I guess I did end up... Well, I did fight the, the big band of bad boys, right? And cool cutscene, funny face. There was some things that happened, even though I got to exploring the depths a little late. Just cool though. Yeah, but then... Oh. Oh. It just flashes your hearts. Yeah, but then it's so small. There's so much. It's the entire map of Hyrule. On top of itself, man. It's crazy. And it also looks like that's, uh, that's about time. So, you know, we're exactly where we want to be. In a, in, the, you know, in, a, in a dark, scary cave. Next time, we'll actually explore it. Hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. Peace, <laughs> Keith.